Our CES 2018 coverage is powered by GoDaddy. Please support our coverage by going to geeknewscentral.com forward slash GoDaddy. Todd Cochran here at CES 2018, and we're with Opcom, and we're going to talk about hydroponics and doing something really, really cool. We're here at Opcom with Ray. Ray, what uh, what is this? What do you guys got? You guys got a farm here in the middle of the show floor. Yeah, we are doing the uh, automation hydroponic for everyone, you know, for individual all the way to max production grower. You know, you can do it at home or you can do the commercial grow. We got a container farm. So everything you need, we have it. So right now, this looks like uh, something that uh, do-it-yourselfer would do at home. You've got uh, lettuce, some cabbage, uh, some stuff growing in there. What? So what does a setup like this take to get going? The setup like this, you can grow anything and anywhere. Uh, the size of the pot is half of the parking space. So you can put this one in your garage and you can grow right away. And we give you the climate control environment. You can control the temperature, you can control the humidity. We got the camera for light view, so you don't have to go inside the tent. You can control everything, you know, from remote. We got the control interface right here, so you can get the light view and see whatever going on inside the tent already. So you control uh, the water circulation, the LED lights, and we also have the proprietary, the grow wave, I can push the grove 20% faster than the regular LED light and hydroponic way to grow the crops. You don't have to worry about pests because this thing's all contained. It's yeah. all self-contained, closed up. So I guess the question really then is, so what you, the power consumption looks like is pretty light because you're using LED lights, it looks mm -hmm. like? Yeah, compared to conventional way to grow the green and grow the crop, you save 30% less of the power. And when you're talking about water, you can save 90% less than the conventional you know, soil-based growth you know, by doing hydroponically. So for someone who's going to set up a system like this, would be a, this be a pretty typical layout, or would they have the density higher in the number of uh, uh, growing pods? Uh, this is a standard uh, size we have. Uh, just depend on different crop you want to grow, uh, we give you the space like this. You can load it up as many as machine you want, or you want to keep it empty, or just focus on one or two crop. We got the, all the space, you know, you can lay it out by yourself. What is a typical, what, a, what would a rig like this cost someone to set up? Uh, the, the show with everything including and all the system controller is going to be $2,000. And depending on how many grow machine you want to put it inside, so we can mix that and give it the pricing from uh, 4,000, 5,000, all the way up to 10 grand. So this is something that's really cool. I know a lot of you are out there doing hydroponics already. I got a friend in Seattle that has a huge setup that he kind of built himself. But this is, uh, this is a super automated way of, of doing hydroponics. It's really awesome. I th I, I'm really impressed with what you guys have got here. So where can people go to find more information? Uh, you can go to uh, upkong.com. Uh, we got all the information over there. All right, so you guys got it. Go to opcom.com. Todd Cochran here at CS 2018, part of the Geek New Central team.